Yellow Faces Shewa, Aiza and Huang Lai Tao Sai is a channel where I will be sharing 8 tons of secrets to healthy hair every Thursday at 9pm. So be sure to click on the Sarapah Karat button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my new videos or any of the secrets that might just help restore your hair to its former glory. So for today's video, we will be talking all about the reasons for dry and flaky scalp. And I will also share some tips and tricks on how to fix them and how to manage them. Well, there are so many causes for this. So today, we will only be talking about six of them. And as usual, I've got my coffee right here and ready to jump right into it. Wamakaisha up. So reason number one that might be the cause of your dry and flaky scalp is allergic reactions to the ingredients in your hair care products, especially those that comes in contact with your scalp, like your shampoo, your hair tonic, your hair mask maybe, or even hair conditioner if you're using that on your scalp, which is a big no. But anyway, basically any hair care products that comes in contact with your scalp, with your skin, then it's going to trigger this allergic reaction. This is known as the contact dermatitis. This allergic reaction is often caused by irritating ingredients in your hair care products such as sulfate, alcohol, fragrances and even PPD in permanent hair dyes. And it's not only going to affect your scalp, it can affect other body parts too such as your eyelid, your hairline and at the back of your neck. Well basically as long as there's skin it's gonna get affected. So this is what it looks like. It's red and it's really, really itchy. Therefore, what you can do is, of course, number one, stop using the products with these ingredients and opt for a more medicated, formulated for sensitive skin kind of products. But make sure you also seek professional help to manage your condition. Okay, well, now this is actually a reason for flaky scalp, but anyway... Reason number two for dry and flaky scalp is dandruff. Yep, dandruff is actually flakes that develop due to oily scalp, not dry scalp though. And it's a condition that you can never cure but can definitely manage it. Like it's gonna come back once you stop taking proper care of your hair and your scalp. But as long as you do, it'll be manageable, barely even there. Trust me. So if you have dandruff problems, it is best to shampoo your scalp as frequently as you can. But still remember the basic rule is at least wait one whole day between washes, like 24 hours. Wait 24 hours before you wash your hair again. How much? And you can also use some anti-dandruff shampoo or medicated shampoo to further help manage your dandruff problems. Or you can use some hair tonic. That could help too. How let the Sanger reason is a ringworm. It is a type of fungus infection that is common on the skin, which of course include the scalp. Ringworm can be passed from one person to another, especially if you're sharing the same bed or using the same coat. Even though it is most common in children, adults can get it too. And this is what it looks like. Nasty, right? So if you're suffering from ringworm, unfortunately, there is no other options other than seeing your doctor and get it treated properly. But you can also take some preventative measures such as wash your bed sheets frequently and stop sharing your comb or any other hair tools even among your family members. You know what? Let's just stop sharing any personal care products or tools with anyone and let's take better care of your personal hygiene okay let's just let's just try to minimize all form of infection any kind of infections how much we don't want that kind okay now we're halfway through and you know what time it is yes it's time for question of the day let me know in the comment section down below how many of you are suffering from dry and flaky scalp 
and which of these reasons that you think might be the cause of your dry and flaky scalp okay drop your answers in the comment okay i would love to read them i will always read them and i will try to respond to as much as i can all right the next reason for dry and flaky scalp is scalp psoriasis 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 is that how you pronounce it yeah psoriasis anyway this one is kind of related to dandruff but dandruff is normally due to oil and dirt buildup but psoriasis is a skin disorder where rays reddish and scaly patches pop up on your scalp like this it could be a single patch or several patches or even cover your entire scalp it is believed to be due to problems in the immune system that causes your skin cells to grow too quickly and build up into patches. What you can do in this situation is of course seek help from a doctor or a dermatologist but also avoid scratching or picking at those patches. I know it's itchy and it's insufferable but scratching or picking at it will aggravate it and more or even worse patches would pop up. So don't do that, okay? How? Now, what am I just about? We're on to reasons number five, which is eczema. Yup, eczema can also affect your scalp. If you don't know, eczema is a common skin condition that looks like this. Patches of itchy, inflamed, swell, and even cracked skin. Again, the itchiness can be insufferable, but you can't, I repeat, you cannot ever scratch your scalp not ever never no. well what you can do is switch to fragrance free products and make sure you rinse out all of your shampoos make sure there's nothing left because these two things can aggravate your eczema and you don't want that but also as always seek professional help and use medicated products if you need to all right we're at the last point of the day yay but before that remember to give us some thumbs up if you like this video and make sure you subscribe to our tiny little channel your tiny little support helps us in a huge way now let's dive into the last point of the day the yoga reason for dry and flaky scalp is hives yep that yeah me and a lot of other people too because it's something that you never even thought about Ten hives are red and raised bumps that can happen anywhere on your skin including your scalp most cases of hives can last for about six weeks at most and it can be triggered by your medication signals like cold or flu and even environmental allergens when it happens your scalp is going to feel super itchy so you need to go see a doctor or get over-the-counter medications to help reduce the severity of it but definitely definitely avoid scratching those bumps and try to switch to cold water when you're washing your hair just remember always 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 avoid scratching your scalp or any part of your skin for that matter because it's never good for the skin it's going to cause a lot of other skin problems okay all right so that is all for today's video it really is a short one today as opposed to our two previous videos which were kind of long and kind of tiring for me to record finally my script writer don't want to kill me anymore i guess <laughs> But if you haven't checked out our two previous video, please do so. I put down the link in the description box and also here. Just click on them and it will bring you to our previous videos. Okay, and make sure you subscribe to our tiny little channel because we update new videos every week every thursday now i hope you guys find today's video helpful for you to understand more about the reason why dry and flaky scalp happen and how to treat them remember healthy scalp is the secret to healthy hair so take a very very good care of it okay 
I will see you guys next week. Zai Jian. Bye bye.